Hey guys, welcome to another uh, Fusion 360 tips. So in this, uh, we're going to be talking about the uh, interference um, in the inspect window and how to use it and how awesome it is. Uh, I've been using this quite a bit recently on, uh, it's another big thing to use on simulations because if you have um, interferences, and if you guys don't know what an interference is, it's when you have two uh, meshes or two um, geometries that are clipping each other which means that they're like overlapping they're inside each other so for example if I have two squares and the two squares are slightly overlapping each other then you're gonna have uh, an interference right and uh, sometimes that's okay in uh, the parts that you make uh, depending on how uh, what you're doing or whatever um, and it depends on how you're gonna manufacture it. if you're just gonna manufacture it and you're going to have those differences inside of your drawing or something like that, that's okay. Or if it's you're drawing it to a certain tolerance or something like that, that's also okay. So however you're going to do that, um, sometimes it's okay to have interferences, but generally on a simulation like I was talking about, it's going to cause it to fail. So also this is even more powerful in simulation. It has an option that you can actually remove the, that overlapping volume, which is pretty cool. This one it does not have. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you click inspect, and then it's right here, interference, right? So interference between solid bodies or components. So it can be within one file or here within assembly. And I actually didn't know that this guy had as many interferences as it does, which is pretty interesting. So then it says select what you want to uh, calculate the interference. And then here you could include uh, coincident faces, which means you want to uh, include the faces that are touching. But I don't want to do that because that's not, in my opinion, an interference. It's they're touching each other. But in your case, if you want to have some sort of tolerance between parts, you say, hey, I actually don't want anything to rub against each other. Uh, and I want to check to make sure that there is no faces touching each other. You can uh, click that button. And then you hit the compute right here, which is this little uh, two squares. And you see that there is a red box in between. And that is the interference. And depending on how many interferences you have, or if you have zero, uh, it'll come up with this box. And then this will show all the interferences inside the window. As you can see, I have it clicked. And so all of these different colors are different colors of interferences. And when I scroll in, you'll see that it disappears. That's because it's just computing the, it's just uh, setting up the display again. So I'm not, I'm scrolling in and I'm waiting and then it pops up again. So all of these parts are different interferences. And so you can see I have some bearings here and it looks like this guy is like on top of that bearing. And there are some interferences here in the motor model that I was given. And it looks like there are some interferences here, which shouldn't be there. And there's also some interferences here, which could be between some of the motor, uh, some of these dials are not correctly set up. And you can go through this um, table and look at which components, the two components that are touching. And also you can click on it and it will show that specific component. So for example, here, this is a, um, this is a eyelet that's inside of a hole. So this is threaded, this is threaded, I don't really care about that. Um, so you can um, basically move on from there, right? It's like, okay, I don't care about that. Now, unfortunately in Fusion it won't let you like delete that so it's no longer in the list. But yeah, so that's, that's, that's an example of one, right? And then uh, you have other things in here that are uh, shafts and things like that that are overlapping each other. And it'll also tell you the volume. And, and my units that I'm using in this particular model uh, slash assembly is millimeters. So it's going to give it to you in millimeters cubed. But it's going to give it to you in whatever your native units that you selected inside of the file. It'll give you whatever those units are. So uh, this is super, super useful. And like I said, uh, useful in uh, double checking your model before you go to manufacture it um, because you can make very expensive mistakes very quickly or if you want to use it to take care of uh, any sort of uh, fails inside your simulation in Fusion, uh, any sort of errors talking about overlapping faces. It'll also throw an error and tell you that the faces are overlap, uh, some of the bodies slash components are overlapping. Anyways, 
So I've been recently working with this, so I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware. Anyways, all right, that's it. Uh, if you guys don't know, I teach um, Fusion on Udemy. I have a beginning Fusion 360 and intermediate Fusion 360 class. Go ahead and check that out if you like my teaching style. The links are in the description. Go ahead and use those codes. Uh, it uh, benefits me more than if you go straight on Udemy and get the class from there. Let me know what you guys think of the classes, and I will see you guys in the next tip and tricks later.